five simple shifts to increase your profits and your sales and your income faster than you ever thought possible. Even if you're not a big fan of sales or negotiating. Listen, everybody, everybody needs to learn a few elements that are crucial for you to be successful nowadays. If you're a business owner, if you're an executive, a leader of some kind, or if you work in sales, it doesn't matter. You need to understand these five simple shifts to achieve your goals faster and with less effort. So let's go to it. My name is Fabio Marcus. And I want to share with you those five simple shifts because they were essential to help me achieve my dreams and to help me help my clients achieve their dreams. I've been a professional speaker and business consultant and influence mentor for the last 26 years. It started in 1996. And after 200 corporations served, 165,000 people trained in 20 countries, I can assure you these five shifts I'm going to share with you right now, they are instrumental, they are crucial, they are like accelerators to help you achieve what you want with less effort. Let's go to them. First one. Before selling, start serving. All right, this is very, very important. A lot of people focus on selling, selling, selling every single time, every single day, like they're just trying to get more clients, more leads, more sales, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but People don't like to be sold to. People like to buy, but they don't like to be sold to. What they do like is to be served well. People like to be served well. People like help when they need it. People like good advice when they need it. When they're searching for an answer, they would like to have the answer right there. So before you sell anything, you gotta put service first service first see sales as a service right and put service first first and foremost you need to be willing to serve to add value to really help people resolve or solve their problems and achieve their most important goals so in today's economy and it will be forever from now on before someone trusts you enough to give you money for your service or products, they need to be sure that you are committed to help them for good. We're committed to serve them well. So put service first. This is the first shift. Stop selling, start serving. Put service first and sales will follow. Put service first and sales will follow. Serve your prospects and sales will follow. So. Stop focusing on sales, start focusing on service. Put service first and sales will follow naturally. And people will feel, and people will feel like they're buying from you but they're not being sold to. It's much more healthier. You know, when they're happy when somebody that they bought, they say, look at what I bought, right? Look what I bought. When they're not happy, they say, look what they sold me. So they don't like to be sold to, they like to be served well and they like to buy when they feel like it. So serve them well, good service first, sales will follow. Second shift, it's about product or value. Stop, stop talking about your products. Start talking about their profits. So from talking about products to talking about their products. From talking about your products 
to talking about their profits. That's the key. You know, there's a difference between price and value, right? Price is how much people pay for something. Value is what they get out of something they bought, right? So, but even if they didn't buy yet, they're getting value, getting value. That goes back to our first shift, right? Put service first, sales will follow. Because if you put service first, you're already adding value. And when they perceive value big enough, they start considering buying from you because they see the value as bigger than the price. So the second shift is stop talking about your products, start talking about their profits. When you're talking to a prospect or to a client, focus on what they need to solve and how much would they gain from solving their problem or from achieving that goal. What is the value for them? Of solving that problem or achieving that goal and when I'm talking about value I'm talking about financial value and emotional value right so is your product or service able to help them save money in other areas this is a financial value if your product or service is able to help them make them make their life easier so this is the emotional value. Can you make them happier, right? Can you help them have more quality of life, more free time? So what is the value for them? And even before you talk about your products or services, talk about them, the problems they wanna solve, the, the objects they wanna achieve, and what is the value for them? both the economic value and the emotional value. Of course, there's much more into that. We don't have time to go into details here, but uh, that's one thing that I stress a lot and I emphasize a lot in all my mentorship programs, my coaching programs, my training programs, with all of my clients. I help them calculate, I help them uh, do the math, I help them really identify very clearly what is the value for their clients even before they talk about any product this is the second shift so stop talking about your products and start talking about their profits third shift is about changing from dumping a lot of information to building a lot of influence. You want to have influence over people. You don't want to just dump information uh, onto them. You don't want to just you know, vomit a lot of information, a lot of data, a lot of uh, statistics. You want to engage people in the influence process. So influence comes from in fluids it's flowing right so you need to develop a certain way of talking to people where you can rapidly create rapport you can connect with them and you can then help them go with the flow like you lead them in a natural flow of, of thoughts and feelings where they feel safe they feel secure, they feel um, supported, they feel confident to make a decision about working with you or not. Okay? So, uh, there's a science to it. I developed a system I call Magna Influence. And I call it Magna because Magna is something with great distinction. A lot of people, unfortunately, use influence as a bad word, as manipulating people. I don't like that kind of perspective. I use the best kind of influence, the ethical kind of influence, and I call it magna influence, right? Because it's being ethical, being truth, but being able to establish a deeper connection with someone by understanding how they think, 
how they behave, how they make decisions, so you can put them into the flow of thoughts and emotions that will lead them to see the value that you've given to them through your products or services, right? So we stop focusing on information you start working on your influence powers. This is the third shift. The fourth shift is regarding to your team, right? Stop telling people what to do. You start training people about how to do it. A lot of leaders are not able to grow their businesses. They're not able to grow their teams. They're not able to delegate because they insist in telling people what to do instead of training people on how to do it. If you just tell people what to do, but you don't give them the tools and the training to do it well, you're gonna be frustrated, they're gonna be frustrated as well. So, and probably you are frustrated right now by telling the same thing over and over again and people don't ever get it right. But if you stop telling people what to do and you start training people in what they have to do and how they can do it properly, then you accelerate the results you, you want. And finally, the fifth shift is instead of getting mad get a mentor instead of getting mad get a mentor a lot of leaders and business owners they get get mad at their teams get mad at their clients get mad at themselves because they cannot make things work we are not superhumans you know you're not heroes. You need help. Everyone needs help. I've got my mentors. I've got my coaches. Everybody should have mentors and coaches because we cannot figure it out all by, by ourselves. And when you try to do everything by yourself, maybe trying to save some money, you get mad, you got overwhelmed, and you don't get things right. And many times you just give up of something that was really worth it just because you're by yourself. So stop getting mad and start getting mentored. Find a mentor you can trust. Find someone you feel like can really guide you through the, you know, through the process and get you to the next level. Because a mentor is able to break your thought pattern a mentor is, is able to incite new ideas into your brain. A mentor is able to challenge you in different ways and make you think differently. And by thinking differently, you start having different results. If you don't have a mentor to challenge you, you're always going to be trapped in the same line of thought and you will never get to the point you want. But a mentor can really help you get where you want to be faster saving you hundreds of hours, maybe years, and saving you hundreds of thousands of dollars as well. So a mentor is an investment. You just have to find the right mentor for you. It's a precise, very useful investment for you to get what you want from life faster with less effort. So think about those five shifts. Think about how you can make them happen into your life. And if you like this, you know, comment, write your question below here, send your question to me, get in contact. The best way to connect with me is through my 360 site, is my hub, so you can have a 360 notion of my, my life on the internet. So you go to fabio360.com, fabio, F-A-B-I-O, 360.com. There you can connect with me with, in any social media of your preference. You can see all my websites, all my freebies for you, all the free gifts I have for you there. Uh, you can check all my books, the 
training workshops and whatever, right? And of course, you can reach me through WhatsApp and even book a call with me if you want to talk more. The most important thing, consider these five shifts and you're going to see your growth happen before your eyes uh, in a bigger scale, in a bigger scale than you ever thought possible. My name is Fabio Marquez. I wish you health and wealth always. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.